Hello everyone, this is Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone's well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, I wanted to finish the cycle out last night. I really did. I had every intention on doing that. I sat down, literally sat down to do the cancer reading. Had the button pushed, started recording. I got about 30 seconds in, shuffling cards, and uh, I get a notification pop up on my phone. And I looked down, and it was um, a notification for Michigan Governor Whitmer's press conference in regards to the flooding in Midland County, Michigan. And most of my late mother's family, those who are left, still live down there. So, first thought in my head was, shut the camera off because you're not doing this tonight. I watched the press conference and tears streaming down my cheeks. And then the rest of the evening was spent watching YouTube videos of absolute catastrophic devastation of an area of the world that I grew to love as a child and still respect as an adult. I haven't been down there. I, well, I really haven't, I haven't been down there since my grandmother died, so it's been about six years, but still, it, it was a very sobering moment, and I was in absolutely no condition to read cards last night after that, so, but I've cleansed. We're here now. We're going to do this. I'm going to stop babbling. This reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Let's if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Cancer. Check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you would like. A little more insight into what may resonate with you. Sometimes they resonate a little bit better depending on what you got going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? So, also, time and energy are fluid and all things can be vice versa may even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. I love it when you guys show up. It's so much fun. So, a couple more shuffles and we're going to get it on the table for cancer get this finished up today. I got a new work schedule going on too. So now Wednesday evenings, indefinitely Wednesday and Friday evenings, I will be closing the place where I work instead of being there during the day. So this actually works out a little bit better because I have a little bit more time on Wednesday. It's always easier for me to read the cards before I go in than after because after a shift I have absorbed so much energy. Sometimes it's really hard for me to read, you know? Okay. Three of Cups reversed, Cancer. Mmm. The threes scare me. I'm not going to lie. Upside down, revert. They scare me. They scare me. It could be something as simple as you're not talking to your buddies right now. Or it could be an indicator of trying to come out of a third party situation. I don't know. We're going to see what the rest of the guards have to say. I'm just hoping you don't get the soap opera like Capricorn and Libra did yesterday. Oh my. Okay. Well. K 
Cancer, I love you guys. I'm just throwing that out there now. I love you. And it's going to be okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with is the Ten of Cups reversed? Okay. It's not the fairy tale. Breakdown in a family, breakdown in a relationship, an incomplete cycle of emotions. Okay. Either you feel like they got it going on, or that's your feelings toward them. Something didn't come to completion. Okay. What you think of them is the hanging man in the reverse. You see them as emotionally stuck. Maybe they're stuck on you. Okay. Maybe you're stuck on them. That's what you think of them. Oh boy. What you want from them is the Eight of Wands and the Upright. Forward movement slash communication. We're going to throw a clarifier on it. Double meaning. Double meaning, split story. Take it however it resonates. Either you want them to move on or you want them to open their mouth. I don't know. I wasn't there. I didn't do it. How they feel about you is the two of cups reversed. Well, yeah. Um, every freaking cup on this table right now is upside down, Cancer. I don't like it. I don't like it. There's been a breakdown. There's been a disconnect. At, at the very least, a connection that is not being acknowledged by both parties. At the very least. And what they think of you is the Queen of Swords in the upright. Honest. They think you're honest. Cold. But honest. Okay. Right on. Possibly an air sign you're dealing with. Or someone who has air in their chart. What they want from you is the emperor in the reverse. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing something in regards to vulnerability. This is where we clarify the cards, kids. Excuse me a second. Don't move. And yes, I'm still wearing my pajama pants. Just give me a second. Valentine. Can you turn it down a little bit, please? If I can hear it, so can the microphone. I'd rather not get popped with another copyright thing. I don't know. about that. Had to tell my son to turn the damn TV down. Okay. The challenge or obstacle in this scenario is the Six of Pentacles reversed. Well, things were equal. Okay. That's typically the catalyst to the breakdown of a relationship. That's nothing out of the ordinary. What needs to be done is the Six of Cups in reverse. Salty feelings. Salty feelings. Hmm. Projected outcome, the High Priestess in the reverse. Disconnected connections. Egotistical crap. Someone's not listening. Okay. Clarify with steampunk money. It's right here. I gotta warm it up anyway, so. 
Okay. Since you guys love it so much when I get into the specifics, I gotta throw at least one in every single one of these. So this might take a minute. Ten minutes in? Okay. I, I'm watching the clock at this point, so... Get back in there. Somebody tried to pop out if they wanted to say hi. Universe Source and Spirits. Can I get a little clarity on the cards on the table for Cancer for their second half of May reading, please? Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here? You knew I was going to do it. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Breakdown in the relationship. Somebody being a little needy and clingy. Oh, wow. <sighs> Perhaps someone in the relationship felt a little bit too dependent on. If that makes any sense to anybody. Okay. Why is the hanging man here? Why is the hanging man reversed here? Nice or reversed. Amplified effect, not the reverse. You possibly think um, they're emotionally stuck and possibly a little bat crap bonkers. I'm going to throw another one on that, just for kicks. Two upside down sixes, two upside down nines. Why do I have a funny feeling I'm going to have another upside down three pop up? I just have a funny feeling. Mm. You're not going to come out on your own, are you? It had to be the Seven of Swords, didn't it? Emotionally stuck, fat crap bonkers, and secretive. Okay. They were keeping things from you.
possibly as to why they were emotionally stuck on something. What was keeping them up at night? Pacing the floors. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Okay. Why is the Eight of Wands up right here? Ace of Swords reversed. You want them to move forward. You want them to move on. Cut off in communication. Okay. So you want them to move on and you don't want to hear any more about it. Okay. Why is the Two of Cups reversed here? Eight of Wands. They feel the disconnect because you moved on. They feel like you have moved on. Wow, that was self-explanatory. Okay. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Four of Swords. Rest time, chill mode, and you, you think you've laid it to rest, you've moved on. Probably kind of think you, you were a little bit of a bitch, maybe, possibly. Um, or bitchy. Pay no attention to the sex of the cards. Pay no attention to the sex of the words that I say. Energy is energy. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Three came out. Should I take all three? Well, let's see what they have to say. No, they make no sense. We're going to put them back in. I'm only taking three at a time. Why is the Emperor reverse chair one to two cards, please? Okay, the King of Wands stuck his ugly head back out. They want an end to the confrontation. They want vulnerability. They want... They want you to stop trying to take charge of the situation. One more. Ten of Swords. They want the pain to end. They want the sun to shine again. They want the painful cycle to end. Oh, wow. Okay. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? So when I sit there and I'm all quiet and stuff, that means I'm thinking. And I'm probably trying to do a little bit of math in my head because... Um, when I first started studying 
um, the esoteric and the unknown. Three of Wands popped up. I, I was studying numerology. So, that's what my brain automatically <laughs> reverts to. Um, three of Wands in the upright. Things were uneven, unequal. Someone was waiting. Okay. Two more. Three of Pentacles. Three, three, three. Three threes. Well. <sighs> Son of a biscuit. Okay. Shit and shish kebabs. Well. Someone was trying to lay a foundation and someone was waiting for something else. Led to a breakdown. Possibly waiting for something else. Why is the Three of Wands here? Oh, God. Resurrection. third party situation oh god I'm sorry guys I'm so sorry I don't know if it was you I don't know if it was the other person and I don't mean to laugh but how this works still mystifies me a little bit and I don't know guys I just read the cards I just read them as they come out and when they come flying out of the deck like that and they want to talk, that means they have something to say. Somebody was waiting for someone else to return while the other person was trying to lay the foundation for a relationship. Hard to say who was doing what. But apparently it wasn't equal. All right. Hmm. Why is the Six of Cups reversed here for what needs to be done? Pentacles reversed came flying out. Okay. Well. Salty memories. Old seeds that will never grow. One more. The moon, the unknown. Things being eliminated in their own time. Are you gonna, thank you. You like teetered for a second. Like, are you gonna land?
Wow. Rebuilding the tower? I don't know. Why is the tower reversed here? That's not rebuilding the tower. At least I don't think it is, so we're going to see what it is. Why is the tower reversed? Thank you. Seven of Wands, laying down weapons, letting dust settle, allowing things to unfold and illuminate in their own time, leaving the house plan on the back porch. We talk about house plants a lot here. Because the memories are going to be salty for a minute. They usually are in a third party situation. Five of Wands reversed. Conflict's got to come to an end. The dust has to settle. Why is the High Priestess reversed here? Eight of Swords reversed. Coming out of the state of being all wrapped up in your emotions and your thoughts. The Lover's reversed. Allowing the connection to do whatever it is is going to do. The connection is always going to be there. The High Priestess and the Lovers Reverse. Two cards indicating a connection that is there. They're probably a soulmate. And what do soulmates do? Who remembers what soulmates do? Sometimes they don't stick around forever. Sometimes they come in solely for the purpose of teaching you a life lesson. And then they go. Because that's the only reason they came into your life. Because that's what the plan was when everybody was up in the 5D. Before everybody came back down to play the game again. Because that's all this really is. It's the game of Ascension. See how many times you got to come back down here and learn the lessons you're supposed to learn before you ascend and don't have to do this anymore. See how many times it takes you to wake up. That's the whole point of this in case you didn't realize that. But that's a whole other video that I didn't do and I can't even remember what video I watched. I'm just regurgitating old information. But you can look it up. Feel free. Eventually, you will come out of your head about this and accept it for what it is. Well, how long is that going to take? I don't know. That's not up to me. That's up to you. How long it takes you to process this and how long it takes you to ascertain what lesson you were supposed to learn. But we're going to get you some advice. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords reversed. Oh boy. Speaking of people coming in and out of your life. Okay, we're going to talk about cups for a second. There's a different... Okay, the Knight of Swords. Sorry, the Knight of Cups. There's a difference between handing you the cup and holding on to the cup while you drink out of it. Do you know what the difference is? If they hand you the cup, they're giving you a piece of their heart. If they hold on to the cup, they're holding on to the cup so they can take off with it when they're done. Who 
Who knows the next thing I'm going to say? Unless they're handing you a cup without keeping grips on it, don't give it a second thought. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. The only way to end this pain is to emotionally separate yourself from it. You have to regain your independence. If you want to turn these cards back around where they're supposed to be, you have to be able to get to the place where you can say, yeah, that sucked, that hurt, that was painful, but the sun is going to shine again and I'm going to be okay. The only one with the control over how soon you get to that place is you. Nobody else can do that for you. You have to do it yourself. It sucks and it's gonna hurt. Baby, it's not supposed to be sunshine and roses all the time. That's not what makes the game fun and interesting. And that's not what teaches you things. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Let's see what the other deck has to say for advice. The Six of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. When people exit your life, they exit to make room for the people who are supposed to be there. They left. Maybe they had other stuff going on. Whatever reason. If they were still here, would Mr. Strong Stable offer? Probably better for you. Slow moving, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Would they be able to come in with what they have to offer you if this one was still here? No. No. Okay. Well, there's a purpose and a reason for everything. Sometimes chapters got to close out for new ones. To, well, all the time, actually. I shouldn't say sometimes, all the time. Old chapters have to end before new chapters can start. People have to leave before people can come in. There isn't a hundred chairs around a poker table for a reason. At least not usually. That's a whole lot of fucking cards. You can only fit so many people around a card table. You know what I'm saying? Or when you play in a board game, you don't fit so many people around. It is what it is. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands reversed and the King of Cups in the upright. Do not hold on to the burdens of the past. You have to release them. You have to let them go. And you can't close yourself off emotionally. You have to be open to give and receive love. Because that's a big part of the game. But that's probably the best part. So don't let things like this close you off. Release. Let go. Accept. Move on. Okay, Cancer, you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much for your time today. I apologize for the delay again. And to close, the general happy jazz. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. What? I'm not. You didn't like it? You didn't like it. It's fine. Hit the notification bell if you want to hear more. Um, I have a couple personal readings on the docket, so if you order one, it may be up to a week at this point, just because of scheduling. Um, just to warn you now, I am still taking, I'm still taking orders though, um, and 
to close, um, prayers and positive thoughts to the people of Midland County, Michigan, and the surrounding counties that may be affected by the catastrophic flooding going on down there right now. That town will always hold, well, that area will always hold a very special place in my heart. I have some wonderful, fabulous childhood memories down there. And I hope and pray that it gets to a point again one day where it can be a close semblance of what it once was. But we'll see what the future has to hold. And just positive thoughts and prayers for them. Cancer, I love you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll catch you next week for the first half of June.